This is Chris with Ailes. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ailes. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. It'll all be down there in the description box. And I am here to do my WWE Monday Night Raw December 5th, 2022 reviews. So here we go discussing about Monday Night Raw tonight. Now we kick off the show with a tag team title match. But here's the thing. So we got the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay the Usos, with Sami Zayn and Solo Sokoa, the bloodline. They come walking out, but then they showed a video from earlier today where uh the usos with the where the bloodline um you know drove there to the arena they come pulling up and they was get interviewed by byron saxton get interviewed by byron saxton about their tag team title match against elias and matt riddle and then all of a sudden when they was about to talk matt riddle comes flying through with a scooter going down the hill almost running them over and then uh, you know, they was talking about how they're going to beat the hell out of Elias and Matt Riddle tonight for that and all that stuff. But then all of a sudden, Elias comes walking around talking about, well, what are y'all talking about or whatever. And then all of a sudden, Solo Sokoa attacks Elias from behind. And then the Bloodlines just starts beating the hell out of Elias, laying him out backstage. So yeah, that's what happened earlier today. And then we see the Usos in the ring. And they was talking about how, you know, it looks like they ain't going to be defending their tag team titles because Elias is injured now. So, yeah, that's what they were saying. But then all of a sudden, Matt Riddle comes out. And he says that he gets the tag team partner for himself. And it was Kevin Owens. So, yeah, uh, it was Matt Riddle and Kevin Owens versus the Usos for the undisputed WWE tag team championships in the tag team match. And this match it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. We get to the ending of this match where uh, Kevin Owens and Jay Uso's outside of the ring. And Kevin Owens gets face to face with Solo Sokoa outside of the ring. But then Matt Riddle jumps over the top rope with a crossbody onto Solo, laying him out. And then uh, Jay Uso comes up with a super kick onto Kevin Owens. And then, uh, you know, Matt Riddle comes up grabbing Jay and throws him into the ring. And then while uh, Matt Riddle was distracted by Sammy, Jay tags in Jimmy. And then Matt Riddle comes into the ring, gets hit with a super kick by Jay. And then the Usos hit D1 onto uh, Matt Riddle and then pins up for the 1, 2, 3. So yeah, the Usos defeated Kevin Owens and Matt Riddle tonight and retained the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships tonight on Raw. That's what happened. Pretty good match, but then after the match ended, we see the Usos and Sami Zayn just attacking Matt Riddle beating him down and stuff after the match. But then Kevin Owens comes in, hitting the Usos with the steel chairs and chasing them and Sami Zayn off, uh, chasing them backstage with the chair. But then it only left Solo Sokoa and uh, Matt Riddle in the ring. Riddle turns around, he gets hit with a super kick by Solo. And then Solo lifts him up, hitting the Samoan Spike onto Matt Riddle. And then puts him in the corner, hits a hip attack onto him. In the corner, he gets out the ring, grabs a steel chair, put it around Matt Riddle's head, and then hits another hip attack onto him in the corner with the steel chair around his head. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Solo showing tribute to MAGA. Pretty cool stuff. Not even going to lie. But for the match and what happened after the match, I'll give it all, uh, four, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. It was a pretty good match. So, yeah, you can check it out if you have it yet. But yep, that's what happened there, and it looks like Matt Riddle will probably be out for a little bit. So yeah, uh, we're going to see what else happens with that. But later on tonight on Raw, we got Becky Lynch versus Nikki Cross versus Alexa Bliss in the triple threat match. Not only that, there's another triple threat match with Asuka versus Bayley versus Rhea Ripley in another triple threat match. And winner of those two triple threat matches will go on one-on-one -on -one against each other next week on Raw, which will determine the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. So, yeah, many more matches still to come tonight on Raw. But, yeah, pretty good start to kick off Raw tonight. So, yeah, uh, I will see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, now before I talk about one of the Triple Threat matches, there's a few segments we gotta talk about before we talk about the match. Now, one of the segments is we see the Judgment Day backstage, all four of them talking and stuff, and Rhea Ripley was talking about how she's gonna win the Triple Threat match tonight, and then go on and beat whoever next week, and then go on to beat Bianca Belair to become the new Raw Women's Champion. And everybody in the Raw Women's Locker Room then call her Mommy. So, yeah, that's what Rhea Ripley said. 
and she's getting ready for that match now. But then after that, we see another backstage segment where we see JBL's uh, poker invitation, where we see a lot of people backstage, the OC, you know, Baron Corbin and all of them playing poker, and we see uh, Dexter Loomis come up with a bag, and JBL was like, I know you don't got no money because you just signed a WWE contract last week, so you're absolutely broke, so you should not be in this. And he just dumps the bag full of money, and JBL was like, you know what, you're in this now, so yeah. That's what happened there in that segment, but then after that we see Bailey make her way down to the ring because she's in this triple threat match, and then she gets interrupted by Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch comes down through the crowd and stuff, talking about how the last time her and Bailey had a one-on-one -on -one match was like three years ago, and that, you know, while she was gone with pregnancy and all that stuff, that, uh, that Bailey was going that Bailey was holding down the uh the Thunderdome era and stuff like that. So and then Becky was like uh Bailey was like, Well, yeah, I I understand that and I know, but you know, nobody cares about that right now and I'm wanting to win this match to go face Bianca and beat her for the Raw Women's Championship. And then Becky was like, Yeah, yeah that ain't gonna happen and stuff. But then she gets out the ring, Rhea Ripley comes walking down for the match, and Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley get face-to-face, -face, you know, for like a little bit staring off at each other. Uh, so yeah, it looks like maybe we're going to get a feud between Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. It'd be pretty cool to see. So yeah, that's what it looks like is going to be happening. And then Oscar makes her way down to the ring, and then we get the match started. Bailey versus Asuka versus Rhea Ripley in a triple threat match winner of this match faces the winner of the next triple threat match later on tonight in a one-on-one -on -one number one contenders match for next week's Raw. So yeah, in this match, it was a pretty good match at the ending of this match. We see Asuka lock on the arm bar at one, at one point onto Rhea Ripley trying to make her tap out. And then we see Bailey jumping off the second turnbuckle with the elbow drop onto Asuka, breaking up that submission. And then pins Asuka, but Asuka kicked out at two. And then Bailey lifts her back up, hitting the ba Bailey to belly onto Asuka, pins her one, two. Rhea Ripley breaks up the pin at two. Uh, Rhea Ripley throws um, Bailey out the ring, and then Rhea Ripley um, runs up the still steps, trying to hit like a cannonball onto Bailey outside the ring. But Bailey moves out the way, and uh, Rhea Ripley crashed and burned pretty much outside the ring, hitting the floor hard as hell. She gets back into the ring. Asuka was trying, you know, get Bailey by trying to roll her up and stuff, but Bailey kicking out too. Asuka climbs up the second turnbuckle, jumps off with a missile drop kick, but Bailey moves out the way. Asuka crashed and burned, and then Bailey lifts her up, hitting the rose plant onto Asuka, and then pins her for the one, two, three. So yeah. Bailey defeated Asuka and Rhea Ripley tonight in the triple threat match. It should be going on for the match next week for the more contenders match. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good match. And then after the match ended, Rhea Ripley gets mad, gets into the ring, starts attacking Asuka, beating her down stuff, and then hits the riptide onto Asuka, laying her out. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. For the match and what happened after the match, I'll give it all uh, four stars. That's why I'll give it pretty good stuff. But, yeah, up next, we're going to be seeing Seth Rollins up next on Raw because he was making his way down to the ring. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until then. So, the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, now we get another segment where we see Seth Rollins make his way down to the ring. And he starts talking, you know, everybody's doing the chants and all that stuff. You know, he's saying he's a visionary and all that stuff. Welcome to Monday Night Rollins. You know, just doing all his stuff. But then he starts talking about Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory and stuff. How he's going to become the new United States Champion after winning the number one contenders match next week against Bobby Lashley. Because they do got a match one-on-one -on -one, uh, winner of that match faces Austin Theory for the United States Championship. So yeah, that's what Seth Rollins was talking about. But then Bobby Lashley makes his way down to the ring and tells Seth Rollins, Hey, choose your words carefully and all that stuff when you want to speak to me and Seth Rollins was talking about are you scared of Brock Lesnar It pretty much kind of pisses off uh, Bobby Lashley and then he looks at me and goes like look we already know ever since you lost your match at Crown Jewel against Brock Lesnar your head hasn't been in the game now I'm just telling you you better get your head in the game next week because if you keep on thinking about Brock Lesnar by next week you're going to lose a match against me again so yeah, that's what Seth Rollins said. Then Bobby Lashley has enough, and Bobby Lashley just steals off on Rollins 
Both of them starts brawling, going at it and stuff. They go outside of the ring, beating down each other. A bunch of security guards like Adam Pierce and producers and all that stuff had come out, try to separate Lashley and Rollins. Both of them kept on going at it multiple times. They get back into the ring, brawling and stuff. And then a bunch of security guards and stuff had to keep on separating them. And then Bobby Lashley was trying to spear Seth Rollins, but Rollins moves out of the way. He accidentally spears one of the producers, laying him out, and yeah, that's what happened there. So yeah, uh, Bobby Lashley, you know, took out one of the producers tonight on Raw. That's what happened. Pretty good segment. But then after that segment, we see Austin Theory backstage, and he's getting interviewed, talking about he don't care who wins that match between Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins because he's going to prove once again that he's the now, and he'll beat one of them after that number one contenders match to retain his United States Championship. So yeah, that's what Austin Theory was saying. So yeah, it was pretty good stuff. But then he runs into Mustafa Ali because he was right beside him. And Ali was talking about he wants a chance, an opportunity for the United States Championship. And Austin Theory was like, okay, cool. I'll give you the opportunity. Once again, after tonight, you better shut the hell up. So yeah, that's what Austin Theory was saying. that He's going to give Mustafa Ali one more chance after tonight. So yeah, that's what he was saying. Uh, Ali was talking about how... He's going to prove that he could beat Austin Theory tonight. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing a one-on-one match between Mm -hmm. Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory one-on-one later on tonight. So yeah, I bet it's going to be a good one. But yep, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff on Raw. So yeah, I will see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw. Now, before I talk about everything else, they got a match that's set up for Friday Night SmackDown, which is the Usos versus Sheamus and Butch for the tag team titles. But originally, it was supposed to be Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, but uh, I guess McIntyre's took it out of that match for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, Butch and Sheamus will be taking on the Usos for the tag team titles on SmackDown. So yeah, that's the match that's announced. Now, before I talk about the match between Austin Theory and Mustafa Ali, there was a segment backstage with the uh, JBL poker invi- uh, invitation and stuff that they was uh, playing and stuff like that. Uh, we see Baron Corbin kind of getting into it with uh, Dexter Loomis talking about, I want to send you back to like the Looney House and all that stuff. And, you know, uh, Dexter Loomis pulls out Axe and stuff and lays it on the table. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing what's going on with that. And then... On the other table, we see Akira Tozawa and Dominic Mysterio going at it a little bit. And JBL was like, no, you cannot fight in here. Y'all got to fight out there. And Akira Tozawa was like, okay, me, you, in the ring later on tonight. And Dominic accepts. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing Dominic Mysterio versus Akira Tozawa one-on-one later on tonight on Raw. But then we get to the next match. The United States Champion Austin Theory versus Mustafa Ali one-on-one for the United States Championship. It was a pretty good match and everything. Ali was doing pretty good. He uh, takes out Theory. He climbs up the top turnbuckle. Theory knocks out his legs from underneath him. Has him upside down on the top turnbuckle and then starts beating him down and stuff. And then Ziggler comes up hitting a super kick onto Austin Theory. Laying him out. And yeah, uh, it caused a disqualification. Austin Theory defeated Mustafa Ali by DQ. He retains the United States Championship. And then Dolph Ziggler and Mustafa Ali starts going at it a little bit, pushing each other and stuff, because Ali's obviously mad and stuff. And then Austin Theory comes up attacking Ziggler from behind, laying him out with uh, Ali, and then he grabs Ali, runs him shoulder first into the ring post, which freaking sent him flying out the ring, which was crazy. And then Austin Theory picks up Ziggler, puts him on his shoulders, and hits A-Town down onto Dolph Ziggler, laying him out. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, but for that match, I'll give it uh, two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay match and stuff up until it ended DQ. But I can kind of see like a fatal five way now with Ziggler, Ali, Theory, Rollins, Lashley. I can see that happening now. So, yeah, that's what I'll probably go to. But then after that, we see another segment backstage with JBL talking on the phone outside the poker room and then the Miz comes up wants to go play and stuff and JBL was like I didn't know you was into playing cards or whatever but do you got any money and uh Miz was like I don't got no money because of what happened stuff lately and JBL was like well we know you don't pay your debt that well Miz and uh Miz was like well here I got Rolex I could give you that and JBL starts looking at the Rolex he goes like is that fake and Miz was like no and he walks away so yeah that's what happened there pretty funny stuff But yeah, uh, I will see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then. 
Now, before I talk about the next match, there was a few segments before this. Uh, at one point, we see, you know, JBO's poker invitation room or whatever. Everybody's playing poker, and Baron Corbin starts cheating. The OC called him out, and then Alpha Academy was by Baron Corbin's side and stuff, and then they was like, okay, let's go ahead and fight then. And then JBO was like, no, not in here, in the ring or whatever. And they was like, okay, in the ring. So, yeah, uh, up next, that's the next match, the OC versus J uh, versus Baron Corbin and Alpha Academy in the six-man tag team match. But before I talk about that match, we had another segment where we see Bianca Belair getting interviewed backstage, and Bianca was talking about how if Bailey wins... She would beat Bailey once again, but uh, she said, "You know, there's a bunch of n tough competitors in the next Triple Threat match: Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, and Nikki Cross, and all that. And you know that she's been getting along with uh, Alexa Bliss for like the last few months, and all that. And she knows what she's capable of, and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what Bianca Belair was saying. But then we get to the next match. It was AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson with Mia Yim, the OC." versus Chad Gable, Otis, Alpha Academy, and Baron Corbin in a six-man tag team match. And now JBL was on commentary for this match. And it was a pretty good six-man tag team match. It was going back and forth and everything. And at the ending, we see Carl Anderson hitting the spine buster onto Chad Gable. Pins him. One, two. Baron Corbin breaks up the pin at two. Styles come in. Corbin hits like that chokeslam backbreaker onto Styles laying him out. And then uh, his elbow onto Luke Gallows laying him out. And uh, Carl Anderson was trying to come in going with uh, Corbin and stuff and then they finally start beating him down and all that stuff laying him out and then Otis comes in hitting a suplex onto uh, Luke Gallows like a belly to belly suplex onto him and then we see Styles hitting the uh, phenomenal forearm onto Otis taking him out Carl Anderson eventually tagged in uh, Luke Gallows after he laid out uh, Chad Gable with the uppercut and stuff and then uh, Gable was trying to hit that roll through German suplex onto uh, Carl Anderson, but Luke Gallo saved him. And then they hit the Magic Killer onto Chad Gable and then pinned him for the one, two, three. So, yeah, the OC defeated Alpha Academy and Baron Corbin tonight in the six man Tazzy match. That's what happened. Pretty good match. For that match, I'll give it three stars. That's what I'll give it. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then we get to another segment where we see Alexa Bliss getting ready backstage for her match, the triple threat match later on tonight. And then we see. Bray Wyatt's logo popping up on the TV in the very back and stuff while Alexa Bliss is getting ready. So yeah, later on tonight it will be Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch versus Nikki Cross in a triple threat match later on tonight on Monday Night Raw in the main event. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, now before I talk about the next match, there was one segment backstage where we see Byron Saxton interviewing Candice LeRae, and while she was talking, you can kind of see like somebody lurking in the background, I think it's Nikki Cross or whoever, just for like a split second. But yeah, uh, Candice LeRae was talking about how she's glad to be back and all of that, and you know, that she's a mother and all that stuff, but then all of a sudden... Johnny Gargano and Dexter Loomis comes up. Johnny Gargano was like, look, uh, Candice, um, Dexter won all this money in the poker game and all that stuff. She was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of money. Well, sorry, we'll have to go. And then they left. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But then we get to the next match. It was Dominic Mysterio with Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Ray Ripley. The Judgment Day versus Akira Tozawa 101. So, yeah, Dominic Mysterio versus Akira Tozawa 101. It was an okay match. It was going back and forth and everything. At the ending, we see Akira Tozawa kicking uh, Dominic upside the head. He climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumps off the turnbuckle with the senton, but Dominic moves out of the way, and uh, Akira Tozawa smacks the mat. And then... Dominic climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumping off with the frog splash onto Akira, and then pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Dominic Mysterio defeated Akira Tozawa tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. And then after the match ended, the Judgment Day looks like they was about to attack Akira Tozawa up until Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits, runs down there, uh, runs down there to make the save. You know, as soon as they got into the ring, the Judgment Day got out of the ring. So yeah. It looks like we're going to be seeing uh, the Judgment Day versus the Street Profits soon in a match, maybe. So, yeah, it looks like a few will be happening between them two teams. So, yep, uh, that's what happened there. It was an okay match for that match. I'll give it one and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. 
But up next will be the main event. It will be that triple threat match. Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross. Up next in, in the main event. So yeah. I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw. Now before I talk about the main event. There was one segment backstage where we see Adam Pearce walk up to Bobby Lashley. And he was telling Bobby Lashley that he needs to watch himself uh, because of what he did earlier tonight. It should have never happened. But he said he understood that, you know, he was not trying to go after the producer or anything. But he says that it should never happen ever again. Bobby Lashley was trying to give him some mouth and stuff. But, yeah, that's what happened there. But then we get to the main event. It was Becky Lynch versus Nikki Cross versus Alexa Bliss. In a triple threat match winner, this match faces Bayley next week in a number one contenders match on Raw 101. So yeah, we get to the match. It was a pretty good match. We get to the ending where we see Nikki Cross grabbing Alexa Bliss. About to hit that uh, that twisted neck breaker off the second rope onto Alexa Bliss like she already had her dragged into the ring by the second rope. And then that's when ba Becky Lynch jumps off the second turnbuckle with the leg drop onto Alexa Bliss's back and taking down um, you know, Nikki Cross and goes for the pin, but they kick out too. And then Nikki Cross and Becky was going at it with each other. They get on the apron. Uh, Nikki Cross was trying to hit like a power driver onto Becky Lynch on the ring apron, but Becky Lynch fought out of it, hitting the manhandle slam onto Nikki Cross on the apron. Gets back into the ring, trying to go for the pin and stuff, but then all of a sudden Dakota Kai and Io Sky comes up attacking Becky Lynch, drags her out the ring, beating her down and stuff, and then hits a double power bomb onto her through the announce table, laying her out. And then that's when Alexa Bliss climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumping off with Twisted Bliss onto Nikki Cross, and then pins Cross for the one, two, three. So yeah, Alexa Bliss defeated Nikki Cross and Becky Lynch tonight on Raw. That's what happened. And she will be taking on Bailey one one in a number one contenders match. Winner of that match faces Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. So yeah, uh, that's what's going to happen. Pretty good main event, I guess, uh, for that match. I'll give it three and a half stars as well. I'll give it for match of the night, either it was the main event or the other triple threat match, that match was good, or the tag team title match, that match was pretty good as well. So yeah, for tonight's Monday Night Raw, I'll give it seven and a half stars. That's why I'll give it for the match, the main event, three and a half stars. But yeah, it was an okay episode of Raw, pretty good. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bales, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks, they'll all be down there in the description box, and yeah, that has been my Monday Night Raw reviews, and I'll see you guys later for this Wednesday's AEW Dynamite reviews, and this Friday's Friday Night Smackdown reviews, so yeah, I'll see you guys later, until then.